all this packaging. I understand we need to keep the bottles safe on their journey from Scotland, but these things pile up and there's got to be a good use for them, right? Well, in today's video, we're going to turn this discarded carton into a safe haven for our favorite whiskey glass. I'm Leanne and this is Scotch on the Bayou where we celebrate the wonders of Scotch whiskey and the flavor of life in Louisiana. Today we're going to talk about repurposing and doing some DIY. Single malt Scotch whiskey primarily comes in some pretty serious packaging from elaborate wooden um, boxes to um, you know tins like this with metal ends um, and even boxes paper boxes that are easy enough to you know break down fold up and throw into the recycling bin and the graphics are really cool there's some that are the really neat and you get excited about the packaging that's why some marketer came up with it some folks keep their whiskey in the tins at all time while others as soon as they have bought that bottle they ditch the tin because they want to see the bottle and the liquid and the beautiful color of that whiskey um, personally I keep the tin the bottle in the tin until I crack the bottle open and then the these usually get tossed which means I have a lot of them so what do I do with them well, as anyone knows, the good Southern woman I am, I'm thinking there has to be a craft project in this. There has to be something we can do to repurpose these containers. They protected the whiskey on its way to us. And they got me thinking, what else could these things protect? How about our favorite whiskey glass? either traveling, maybe going on a hike, or even going to a friend's house for a few drams. I like to take my own glass. Yeah, it's got my name on it, but I like to have a real glass to drink out of. I don't do plastic. Anyway, so, you know, the, the boxes that these glasses come in, they're pretty flimsy, and I've had more than a couple of glasses meet their demise in this box. So we are going to size this to make a safe haven for this glass. So let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need. First of all, gather your extra whiskey tubes. You'll need different types of sample glasses because some tubes will need to be bigger than others. Paper to use as a template, a pencil, a box cutter with a nice sharp blade, some glue, I like E6000, it's good stuff, some extra lids, felt or some bubble wrap, and optionally, if you wanna get real DIY and crafty, grab some spray paint and some stickers. So our first step is going to be matching the glass to the tube. We don't want a smaller narrow glass in a bigger tube. It'll give it too much room. So kind of pair those out. Next we're gonna measure your glass just to see how much room you need to give it. Um, mark that on a piece of paper, cut that to size, and then you're gonna take the paper and roll it around the tube for measurement. Some have really cool graphics and you may want to move things around as you do that. If you want to capture a particular area, you may have to cut into it and not use the base that it came with. If that's the case, you'll just use a top from another tube that's a similar size. Now is the time to cut the tube. Now, warning, warning, warning. Be safe, don't cut yourself, and for goodness sakes, if you've even had one drown, don't do this project. Wait to another time. But you want to find a towel or something to keep the tube from slipping. And always remember to cut away from yourself. You want to keep this safe. Whiskey goes in the glass, not blood. 
Thank you very much. Anything you have left over can go into recycling. Here I have a Glengoin mini version of its original. I just love these graphics. It's really cool. I had to use a different base um, because the base was down here. This one's kind of plain, so I can cut this part off and spray paint this so that I can decorate it later. So what other ideas do you have to repurpose these containers and tins? I've actually used them to wrap Christmas presents in. Um, I've cut a hole in the top and put change in them to save for that next bottle. So please, in the comments, leave your suggestions on how to repurpose these tubes. So once the tubes are cut, if you've used the original base, that part of it, you're good to go. But if you haven't, you need to find a lid for the bottom just as it fits the top. So steal one from a different tube and take your E6000 or any multi-purpose glue and run a bead around the inside edge of the lid. And then set the tube in edge into that so the cap sits nice and firm and then let it dry. That way you'll have a very sturdy base. Now that we have everything put together, our bases are secure, it's time to create a cozy little environment for the glass. You can use some felt, for example, and just kind of wrap the glass up and then pop it right in there like that. It's nice and doesn't rattle around. Or who doesn't have a lot of this stuff? that you can also just totally wrap your glass up in and then securely keep it there, ready to go. Another tip is I love to get old vintage linen napkins. You can find them at secondhand stores, thrift stores, or antique places, and usually in a pile. They've been washed so much there's no lint left on these things. They're perfect for drying Glencairns or any of your favorite glassware. You can just roll that up in there like this and put the lid on and now you're ready to go. And these make for great gifts. This was a pretty plain tube that I just spray painted, put some fun stickers. How about a shout out to these guys? And you can even give the gift of a glass to someone Martha Stewart would be so proud. Tell me in the comments below which of your whiskey tubes you want to turn into one of these glass holders. I hope you had fun with this. It does make a fun gift. You could do a bunch of them, give them away. Well, now that all the sharp objects are gone, it's time to say, slanji y'all.